No. So what I'm trying to tell you is apparently they call it the tour, uh, the tour for France, the tour of France. Right. It's, it, it actually, it's a, it's a, it's like a bicycle race. Well, that's what I thought. I thought they went around like a, a mountain or a certain track. It turns out they ride for like a month or two and they don't stop. Yeah. Someone sent me a video and, and they're so close together and, and they, they bump into each other and one guy went flying off it is incredible. But of course, my first thought when I understood what the, the, the tour of the tour of France finally is, is when do they go to the bathroom? Like, I understand sleep. You know, I guess if you're pedaling, that keeps you up. Or maybe you're so good you can doze a little bit on the bike. But what are you going to do about the bathroom? I mean, that you know, you got to think about that because, you know, if, if not, if they're not taking care of that, someone's going to have to come in and maybe change the rules or, or figure something out. I mean, it's this is not going to be a sustainable thing. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to talk about how we can manage personal data encryption for the OneDrive known folders within June. It's not new? How long have they been doing it? That long? Wow. I had no idea. They still need to address the bathroom situation. GetRubix, solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so if you're not familiar with personal data encryption, basically it's a newer security feature. So think about instead of BitLocker, because BitLocker protects a whole drive, this is file level encryption. So it uses Windows Hello for Business, right, to create and link data encryption keys with the user credentials. So when a user signs into the device with Hello for Business, the keys are released and they can access encrypted data. When they sign out, those keys get discarded and the data is not accessible, right? So it gets encrypted all over again. So a few things in general about personal data encryption, if you're new to it, um, it's a Windows 11 only thing, right? Um, I think it was 22H2 and up, but for the known folder protection, it's 24H2. Um, you do need hello for business, right? Because it relies on that strong authentication, the passwordless off um, in order to encrypt and decrypt those files and you have to be on windows enterprise so won't work on pro makes sense it's an enterprise feature so that that's the deal okay so before we manage it in intune we're going to take a look at the uh policy first so this is the csp a few policies we're going to need first of all is enable the personal data encryption that's going to basically turn it on so that's going to be uh we're definitely going to need that Okay, now the protecting folders node is the newer one, and that's where we're actually protecting the known folders. So desktop, okay, uh, documents, and pictures. And the rest are just more for reporting. So let's see what's in Intune. Okay, so here in the Intune console, we're going to navigate to endpoint security and disk encryption. Now this is a little deceiving. I mean, I just said it's not disk encryption, it's a different thing, but... We're going to lump it into disk encryption, so whatever. If you create a policy here, Windows personal data encryption is your other option. Okay, so let's create this and take a look at what's in there. So we'll call it PDE, uh, description, personal data encryption. That's fine. Um, so this is the enable policy we need. Right. So that's going to be, oh, so that's going to be this one right here. Enable personal data encryption. Okay. So we need that on, uh, you have the option to leave something not configured. You can, uh, disable it or enable it. And we're going to enable on all these. Okay. So we're going to hit next and I'm going to assign this to our YouTube users. This is the one we used from last time, users versus devices. And I happen to know Bob is the only user uh, in there. So we're in, we're in good shape. Uh, let's get this out. Okay, so let's look at our test machine here. Um, just to show you what we're running, I'm going to type in Winver. We are on an insider build, uh, 26200. Uh, that is 25H2. So um you could be on any insider uh preview for the known folder protection to work but yeah my insider build is 25h2 so we're living in the future and if you're curious what 25h2 looks like it's pretty much exactly the same so if we go try to look in our files so i'm gonna actually go to documents here uh documents so that's all bob's stuff 
And if I blow this up, you should be able to see there's now these locks over my files. So I could still um, open them, right? So this is one of my old thumbnails. Haha, <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, yeah, so you see there was no issue actually opening the file. I have a script here, it looks like. I could open that in Visual Studio Code. Okay, no issue at all. So I'm totally fine opening my files, but I'm gonna log out for a moment and I'm gonna show you what happens here. And I'm gonna log in with a different user. So look at this, you need to sign in with Windows Hello to access files your organization has encrypted on this device. Only use the current sign-in option if you need to recover your Windows Hello pin. So I, I can do that, right? I could sign in with me, but it's just saying it's not going to let me access those files, right? Because they are protected. Ah, but what if I'm an admin on the machine? Then I probably do have access to those files, right? Okay, so obviously the files aren't going to be in my known, you know, folder directory because I'm not that user. But check this out. If I go to see users and we go to Bob, we can continue with admin permissions because we are an admin. So I'm going to scooch my way over there and we're going to go into his OneDrive documents and I'm going to open up that picture. Take a look at that. It looks like you don't have permission to view this file. Check and try again. Even though I'm an administrator and I can see the files, I can't access them. So it really is securing the, the personal data that belongs to Bob and only Bob can open them, right? So when I sign out again, I'm gonna go other user, uh, sign in options. We're gonna choose pin. So we're gonna do Bob Freeman. Cause look what happens if I stay on the password option, right? It's saying no good, right? It needs that authentication. So I'm gonna hit the pin and we're gonna do Bob Freeman, rubixdev.com. Could also use biometrics, whatever, whatever triggers Windows Hello for business. I'm gonna go open that up again. And now we're good because I am Bob. So I have the key to decrypt the file. So you can see this is a massive step that goes towards protecting your data, even because an admin couldn't get to it because they don't have the ability to decrypt it. It's done with Windows Hello. So it's an excellent feature and I've been getting asked about it a lot and I figured let's shed some light on it. Not hard to set up. You can see that um, you do have to be on an insider build, but soon enough we'll all be at that channel. So we'll be able to use this. So if you are using Hello for Business and you're enter joined, I definitely recommend that you start looking at this because I think it's going to be just an indispensable uh, security feature. Let me know your thoughts if you're already using it, what you think, hop in the Discord, and we'll be seeing you.